One week ago, I applied to be Will and E's new editor. After staying up all night to create an application video, I posted it to Twitter, where the response was phenomenal. It's currently sitting on 17.9 thousand likes and has garnered responses from the likes of Jackmate, one half of the Zack and Jay show, Nightscape, Bazinga, Cal Freezy, and even Casey Neistat. And now everyone's wondering, do I have the job? Hello everyone, it's me, breastfeeding consultant and current editor for the Will and E channel, Mikey. Thank you all for mercilessly harassing Will and E into hiring me. To make sure I get the most out of this opportunity, I've been studying Tom Stockdale's explosion onto the YouTube scene, and now I know exactly what not to do. And I'd also like to say a huge thank you to everyone who's offered me a job in the past week. If I could clone myself, I'd work for you all. You can clone yourself. You're right, I am good at my job. It's crazy really, jobs are like buses. I've wanked on both of them. It just shows that if you fail your degree and focus on your dreams, you can go from this. I'm searching for the best milk in the UK. Where the fuck is this going? To this. They say comedy can't be learned, but he tried his best studying jokes in the evenings while others studied breasts. In just 1,254 days, getting this job has always been a dream of mine. In fact, I was at a job interview about a year ago and they were really disappointed when I told them that my dream career was to edit for one of the top YouTubers. So it's just a shame that Casey never got back to me. And you might think this is an underdog story, but I'm actually under a cat. And not only did I get the job, but after three years of milk, cream and cheese, we finally reached 10,000 subscribers. And now that I'm here, I can safely say I've wasted my time. And I'd like to express my gratitude to those who have stuck by me through thick and semi-skimmed. Although I do have a couple of regrets from the last three years. I've got to tell you that this might not happen for a while, but don't worry, unlike my girlfriend in bed, it will come eventually. After a mix up at the job center with two of my applications where I accidentally applied to be a dog care assistant and a child groomer, I thought I'd never be offered a job again. But I finally found a job that puts bread on the table but I wasn't a very good waiter. So I went back to the drawing board. I was a shit artist as well, so editing will do. It's mental. Since this all blew up, I've been getting quite the influx of female attention. Is that the guy from Milky Monday? Not now, mum. And finally, I'd like to show you my application video in case you were too busy wondering why your parents are clapping for the NHS every night. Every night? What are they doing in there? And why do they tell me to stop when I join in? Hi Will, it's me, freelance sperm donor and future editor for the Will and E channel, Mikey. I'm here today to express my interest in editing Reddit videos. I'm sure everyone says this, but Will, I've been watching you for years. Now, I've, uh, I brought you here today. Because... Your bedroom light was on late last night. But don't just listen to me. Let's see what famed actor Will Ferrell has to say about my editing. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, having me as an editor is like parking in a disabled space. You won't want anyone to find out, but it's convenient. What do you want? Text? Transitions? Animation? Me surfing on a bear? Should my application be a problem with a certain someone, I'd like to formally challenge him to an edit off where the loser will no longer be allowed to easy ease keyframes. You know what they say, never meet your heroes, but I think you'll be all right. And I know what you're thinking. All you've done with this video is prove you can use a green screen. Well, it's actually a blue screen, so checkmate. And as always, thanks for coming. And I'll see you next Monday.